Welcome everybody, my name is Anthony for Buddhist Door website, a Hong Kong based dual language website that offers teachings of Buddhism, non-sectarian teachings of Buddhism in text, audio and video formats. Today I'm sitting here with Chu Jiao Namkai Norbu Rinpoche and we'll be talking a little bit about Zhouchen teaching and the retreat that he will be offering over the next couple days in Hong Kong that will focus on this teaching. Now, Rinpoche, because this is your first time in Hong Kong, I'd like to ask you, what conditions brought you here to Hong Kong for the first time? <laughs> There's no particular specific time. Mm. But uh, in general, I'm working with circumstance. Mm. How is the situation where I'm going, what is happening, and this is the second stage. I'm being here, mm. and uh, I give that uh, talking teach. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask: You will be giving a retreat over these next few days. Do you find that the Chinese people have a have a strong interest or demand in the Zhou Chen teaching? Yeah, many people. They have uh, Chinese people in general. They have very uh, strong. They interest the feeling of the Buddhist tradition and particularly essence of Buddhist teaching, which is the Dzogchen teaching. So they know already that because there had been also many important teachers, they taught and they have at least the idea of what is Dzogchen teaching is important. Mm -hmm. For that reason, they interest. Mm -hmm. Now. Over the next few days in your retreat, you will be discussing Yantra Yoga as well as Vajra Dance. I'd like to ask, why do you feel these are important in the Dzogchen teachings? Because uh, Vajra Dance and uh, Yantra Yoga, all these are part of Dzogchen teaching. Mm -hmm. Because everybody in general, everybody, we have three gates body, speech, and mind. Mm. And uh, when we are working also with the body, mainly body or speech and mind, we are going step by step. It is also more easy to work with the level of the body, mm. level of the energy level, a little more difficult, still more difficult is a mental concept and uh, condition of the mind. So teaching related to Yantra Yoga, Vajra Dance and the Dzogchen teaching connected with our body and speech and mind for everybody who is interested. So we are working also that way. For example, when I was in uh, Western world, first I am teaching Yantra Yoga for many years because I saw many people they interested more physical level because it is more easy to understand exactly. Then we are going a little more deeper and deeper. Then at the end also Buddhist uh, teaching, Vajrayana teaching, also in the Sutra style of teaching. Then we are going in the essence of Dzogchen teachings. Mm -hmm. So that way developed. For that reason we have in the Dzogchen community, uh, that we are applying Yantra Yoga and Vajra Dance. Vajra Dance is related mainly with our energy level. Mm. Mm. I would like to also ask, how are Vajra dance and Yantra Yoga important in the practice of daily life, in everyday life practice? Daily life because uh, we are living in a time, everybody. We are not aware, aware sufficient aware, having awareness of how is our situation and how is our circumstance. For that reason, then we can have also many the negative provocations and the disorder of our energy. In this case, then many people they are worried and they are upset. There are so many problems. This is our life, daily life, mm -hmm. how it is. For that reason, then when we have just a little base knowledge of the teaching. We should know how we need to coordinate our physical level, mm -hmm. how we need to coordinate also energy level, who has just a little more capacity than early physical level. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when they, they can go also in a mental level, etc. So it is becoming very important in a daily life for living 
less problem and more relaxed, enjoying our life, etc. Uh, now, Rinpoche, um, you mentioned before that Yantra Yoga is one of the oldest systems of yoga in the world. Do you find that it has a, a great appeal to modern day people? And does it also have challenges in teaching modern day people? Yantra Yoga, which we are learning and teaching, is uh, one of the oldest uh, this kind of teaching. Mm. Because uh, this uh, root text they come from Vairochana. Vairochana is a student of Nguru Padmasambhava. Nguru Padmasambhava transmitted this uh, also originally, this teaching. So it is very old and it's very important, and particularly this way is not only physical level, we are doing, but uh, Yantra Yoga characteristic is uh, very much related with movement. Movement is a part of the, our energy level. Mm. So then with movement, coordinate our energy also with position because the energy is dependent of a physical level. Mind is dependent of also energy in the physical level. So for example, if we say we need to do meditation, but we couldn't get in easily in a state of the meditation if we are not uh, not knowing how is the situation of our energy level and the mental. No, mm -hmm. so it is very important we know how to coordinate physical level and then developing energy level. This is a very complete teaching which we have is yantra yoga. Mm -hmm. So we are we are engaged to that uh, in the Dzogchen teaching also, giving very important Yantra Yoga, not only we are living, to, doing kind of a meditation and contemplation, mm -hmm. because we are living in a dualism vision with movement, you know? mm -hmm. so it is very important. It is, is it important for you to spread Yantra Yoga and Vajra Dance outside of the Tibetan community around the world? Yeah, this is, I think, very important because uh, we are living in a physical body and uh, in a dualism vision. So if we are coordinating and developing, having a base concrete for the teaching knowledge, uh, not only intellectual way, but uh, is applying, then it is indispensable mm. for that reason. Yantra Yoga, which we have in the Buddhist tradition, more than complete uh, Yantra is Yantra Yoga. Mm. For example, in a Tantra, Vajrayana, because the Buddhist teaching in Tibet is Vajrayana. In Vajrayana, you know already we have different kinds of traditions, and each these traditions, for example, following different kinds of tantras, different kind of tantras, they have also kind of tunko. Tunko, it means kind of yantra. Mm -hmm. But they are then related very much with, uh, with uh, initiations, with the instructions, doing this kind of practice. And the yantra is keeping very secret, not uh, uh, openly uh, everybody can do. Why? Because for doing yantra, for example, not only physical level, we need also pranayama in a visualization like channels, chakras, etc. For doing this, uh, in general, in a tantrism teaching, you need to receive initiation, you need to receive instructions. Now you are applying all this, but you, when you apply, you can need also to transform. In your transformation, now you can do visualization, chakra, and then channels, etc. Vajra, this Yantra Yoga is related with the Dzogchen teaching. Dzogchen teaching is not a transformation method. It is called self-liberation. So there is not necessary we need to do particular transformation deities, etc. It's called Tangra. Tangra, it means how is a dimension of the sense, the beginning, pure, emptiness, the dimension. And then we have a possibility to do, like uh, also visualization, chakras, etc. We can apply also that way. Mm. So it is the characteristic of Dzogchen teaching mm. connected. Uh, mm. So this is the reason. Also, it is very important, more public uh, people who really can apply and uh, follow is uh, Yantra Yoga. Mm. Thank you very much, Rinpoche. At the end of your um, retreat here in Hong Kong, 
you will be recapping and reviewing some of the suggestions for practice in daily life. Yeah. Can you explain a little bit to us some of those suggestions that you'll make yeah. for practice in daily because life? Because in general, many people, they interested uh, teachings, sutra, tantra, different kinds. Particularly in Vajrayana, they receive different kinds of initiations, instructions from different teachers, etc. But they most are remaining in an intellectual way. Mm. Intellectual way, if you want to study just like a Buddhist philosophy, etc. Yeah, exist many, many also books you can learn, you can develop knowledge. But uh, practice is not that way. Practice, you should go then after a teacher and instruction in a very precise way, no? Mm. So in this case then, if we are not doing practice, we couldn't have realization. Mm. Not only intellectual, no one can, can realize. Only in, uh, intellectual can, can understand the intellectual way and if you want to give a very uh, elegant uh, conference. For example, if you learned, you have many things to say, but it is not for realization. Realization, you must know how you apply dealing with your physical body, your energy, and your existence. Now you can have then this uh, possibility. So when we are doing retreat, during retreat, I am explaining what you should do, basically what you need to understand, then how you can apply knowing which is condition of your life. Mm. And now conclusion then, when finished, uh, then I am asking, you try to go in the essence of the teaching, not only technique, etc. Even you learned many techniques, sometimes you couldn't use in your, your life because uh, we are living in a dualism vision. We are dependent of the time and the space. So we have no all possibilities. In this case, then most important is we are going in the essence of the teaching. Essence of teaching is not a form, not an argument, not an analysis. Mm -hmm. These are not the essence. Mm -hmm. Essence of teaching, any kind of teaching should go in our real nature for discovering our, our real nature and being in that real nature. So those teachings are introducing that. So then at the end I say, you try to remember this. This is the most important and you try to, to be in a real your nature. So then in during retreat, I explained how you should do practice which is, for example, in the Dzogchen teaching, we say state of the Guru Yoga, do practice of the Guru Yoga. Guru, it means teacher, yoga, it means knowledge. Teacher introduced during retreat what you should do. And you are applying that and you are being in that state. So then this is the essence of the Guru Yoga. Mm -hmm. Then I am saying you try to integrate with that. Also, in being in that state, most important is not distracted. Always be, try to be present. Otherwise, if you are not being present, even you learn, even you have diligence, exact, but when you're distracted, you couldn't then realize anything mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. So I am giving this kind of uh, very simple uh, then advice for people because uh, knowing how is our life, you know. Mm. Otherwise, then many people, they are learning many things. They are thinking, oh, it is a fantastic method. I like it. And they are writing it down for remembering, but they never arrive this time when you apply and our life, precious life, finish. Mm. Mm. For that reason, it's very important to do something more uh, integrated in the life. This is the Dzogchen way. Mm, thank you. Hong Kong is a very fast and very busy city. Will you put any special emphasis on your suggestions for daily life for yeah. the Hong Kong people? Yeah. <laughs> you see, people busy, it means uh, then that is uh, related with our energy level, mm -hmm. not movements. So movements uh, in the Dzogchen teaching, we uh, need to integrate with that. So when I am saying, for example, you don't distract 
that is connected with that teaching. No? Mm. If you, you are being present, you are working in your shop, if you are working in a school, anywhere, it is much better also for your, your job. No? Mm. But it has become also very important for teaching because if you learn in a teaching, saying you should relax. Most of the people there are charging and they develop tensions, you know. Mm -hmm. So then, if you are being present, you discover when you are charging and then you, this kind of uh, problems. Immediately you can relax, for example, mm -hmm. no. Any kind of a problem arise mentally. When you are being present, you can discover and you can change, modify, and you do your best. If you are missing that present, then everything is not working. Thank you very so, much. So, busy life, very important is being present. Mm -hmm. Then, become very simple, mm -hmm. easy. Mm -hmm. Do you hope to come back to Hong Kong and maybe to open up more exposure to China with your teaching? I, I wish to do always uh, because this is uh, not uh, I am doing something spreading teaching, I have this kind of responsibility or mm. I have a missionary, not this, uh, this way. Mm. But I know it is very important uh, if people who are interested, uh, I need to help because I have that knowledge. Mm. So for that reason, I hope always, not only Hong Kong but everywhere, but then we are living in a time that is our hope. We, we don't know how long we are still alive, no. Mm. But I hope we continue mm. and develop. Mm. Not only Hong Kong, but in uh, mainland. Mm. This is very important. Mm. Mm. What is unique about this retreat compared to all the others that you've done yeah. in the world? People understand uh, a little more really sense of the Dzogchen teaching. Mm. Because you see, Dzogchen teaching is a part of the uh, teaching of the Buddhism. Mm. But Buddhism, when we say Buddhism is very general, so we are saying teaching of Buddha is called Buddhism, no? Mm. But the teaching of Buddha, how we consider is different. Vajrayana teaching most are uh, through manifestations they are transmitted, not Buddha physically, you know. Mm. Just like in, um, in the teaching of the Dzogchen, also Buddha Shachamuni, not taught the um, teaching of Dzogchen with the name of the Dzogchen teaching directly something. Uh, there is not exist a single word, mm. but in a real sense we are knowing the Dzogchen teaching is the essence of Buddhism and the Buddha's teaching why? Because also Buddha said, it's, uh, how I teach this teaching is then with cause and effort. This is the characteristic of the Buddhism teaching you know, in the Sutra. But there will be also going beyond cause and effort for the future teacher just like me. He gave the advice and there had been then later just like a teacher, Garab Doja. Garab Doja is we are considering emanation of Buddha Shachamun, you know. Mm -hmm. That is the example. So then the teaching, it is uh, something like the essence uh, of the Buddhist teaching is then the teaching of Dzogchen. So Dzogchen teaching is not going early explaining cause and effort. Of course, this is our base. Everything is in the Dzogchen teaching from the Four Noble Truths, etc. We go ahead if we understand when explaining Four Noble Truths, we can understand what is the essence of the Dzogchen teaching. Mm. But then not directly explaining that way, no? Mm. Same way also in Vajrayana teaching with the transformation, etc. We can understand that the essence of Dzogchen teaching is also there. But not uh, directly. In the Dzogchen teaching, it's uh, directly then explaining we should go beyond the concept of the mind. Mm. That means then being in a state of contemplation. This is the main name, main our path. But it doesn't mean then all concept of mind is not good because it is indispensable. No, otherwise we couldn't understand what it meant. The nature of mind, you know. Mm. So then, 
going beyond all limitations, this is the essence of the Dzogchen, because the Dzogchen, when explained, saying, uh, saying then, Jache Cholun Trava, Jache Cholun Trava, it means the state of Dzogchen, our real nature, is beyond any kind of limitations. Mm. So, we are knowing also relatively in our society, our condition, we have so many problems. Problems between religions and the religions, traditions and traditions, political party and the political party, idea of idea, country and country, everything is a limitation. No? So we, we have no how should go beyond that limitation. We are not uh, trying to go beyond that, you know. So now in the modern society also they are discovering this is a problem. For example, you see like uh, uh, CNN and the television, CNN always go beyond the border, go beyond the border. They are always chanting just like a mantra. Why? Mm. That means the annoying problem is the uh, root, uh, is uh, our um, limitations. Dzogchen is teaching that. That brings me to another question. What is your ultimate goal in this retreat? What do you hope to achieve by this retreat? Chief, uh, we are being in our real nature. Mm. <laughs> we are not dependent always with our mind, and we are not dominated by mind, because most people are dominated by mind. Mm. We dominate our mind, mm. and relatively also then we have no problem, and we can use mind when it is necessary. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. How would viewers of the Buddhist Door website learn more about Zogen teaching, Yantra, Yoga, and Vajra dance? What's the best way for them to learn more? Yeah, this, uh, I think um, people need a little information, no? because many people, they, they have no much, uh, uh, much information what is really Zogen and what is the need of the Yantra, etc. Mm -hmm. If they know, of course, that they can use. Also, then, uh, they, most the people, traditions, they are limited, you know. They are saying, oh, this is our group, this is our system. Mm. We have no any this kind of a problem, no. If people integrate, we are happy. Mm. On behalf of everyone who is uh, viewing the Buddhist Door website, I'd like to thank you very much, Rinpoche, for coming and sharing with us your thoughts on Dzogchen and for coming here to Hong Kong Thank and to you offer your retreat. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>